Manchester United versus Stoke City. Premier League, they've got no manager. Manchester United going into this after winning against Derby, it seems so long ago now in the FA Cup. Stoke City getting knocked out against Coventry and they've got no manager. Mark Hughes getting the bullet for that result. It had been coming. Stoke City right down near the bottom of the table. Not looking good this season. But they did pick up a 2-2 draw against Manchester United at Stoke earlier in the season. That was Manchester United's first dropped points. We did take the lead in that game. Two goals to one and then somehow threw it away. Manchester United and Stoke are in different forms. So... Hopefully, obviously Manchester United's first drop points were back then, but that was away from home. Manchester United are fairly decent at home, so confident going into this game, but not overconfident because we have seen when managers get the bullet that sometimes the players have a, a really good reaction and have, have a good game the next game. So Manchester United have got to be wary of that. They've got no current manager, so we don't know who's going to actually take over at Stoke City yet, but obviously they're our caretaker manager for this particular match. Manchester United going in with almost a fully strength lineup. There's not too many players out injured at this moment in time. Bay is out injured, and I'm not too sure who else is out injured. I think Valencia is now back. Ashley Young still banned. So Manchester United are almost at full strength <coughs> in their ranks now. Obviously Fellaini back as well. So Manchester United have got a lot of options in and around their team. I don't think there's too many players out injured. So Manchester United should be going in with this in confidence move that we can get the victory at home, which would keep get us a step closer to qualifying for the Champions League at least. OK, Manchester City and Arsenal have both dropped points this weekend, both losing their games. So obviously it doesn't really matter what Manchester City do now, but I mean, Arsenal are falling well off the pace in the race for the top four. So... Maybe that doesn't really matter to Manchester United either, but Manchester United need to cement that top four place as quick as possible so we can concentrate on the last two cup competitions that we have remaining. And it's, it is still neck and neck. All three teams at this moment in time, Liverpool, Manchester United and Chelsea, all on the same points. Tottenham a little bit further behind, and if Arsenal were to go on some sort of run at any point, could still catch any of them teams up there and still even finish second. It is unlikely that Arsenal in their form at the moment. But Manchester United have got to be wary. We've still not qualified for the Champions League as yet. We want to get that done and dusted, hit second position, and then worry about other cup competitions. So I, I think Jose Mourinho is going to go for the strongest lineup he can possibly go for. We haven't got another game now till next weekend on Saturday against Burnley. So we're going to have another big break before that game. We've not got another midweek game for a while. So he's probably going to keep Luke Shaw at left back. He's played a lot of football in consecutive games lately. Obviously, Ashley Young out, so I don't know what's going to happen when Ashley Young comes back. Hopefully, we're going to see Antonio Valencia back in the starting lineup for Manchester United. Fosa Mensa, on the other hand, is doing very, very well at Crystal Palace. For me, was probably man of the match in their game yesterday, so that is positive signs. Hopefully, it will be a boost for Jose Mourinho that he won't go out and buy another right-back in the summer because there has been talks of potentially another right-back coming in for Antonio Valencia, but with Fosa Mensa doing so well, hopefully he can take over for, from Valencia in the coming season or so. And the centre-back pairing, whether unless he's going to go for obviously a back three, hope, he's probably going to hopefully go for a back four in this game. Probably Jones, if I'm presuming Jones is fit. And then it will be whoever he goes alongside, Small in Rojo, Lindelof, any of them players. Yeah, there has been talks that if Manchester United do bring more personnel into the team, we will go to a midfield three on a, on, a, on, a, on a consistent basis, which is what a lot of people want to see. But he's probably going to put Pogba and Matic in midfield. Obviously, a lot of people want to see Paul Pogba a bit further forward. Jesse Lingard will probably be in the number 10 role. One matter out, out wide, and then it will probably be Martial and Romelu Lukaku up front. We still do have other options. Obviously, Marcus Rashford. Probably will be a substitute. Hasn't been in the best of form recently, but had a number of chances, obviously, in that game against Derby County, which he did squander some. Obviously, some were unlucky, hit the post. On another day, he could have had one or two goals in that game. I'm not too concerned. He's still a young player. We don't want to get on his back too much, but we do have some options. Obviously, Mkhitaryan, we don't know what's happening with him. Is he going to Arsenal? Is he going somewhere else? We will have to wait and see. 
he will probably be on the substitutes bench as well. So Manchester United have got some options that we could bring on in this game. But I'm hoping Manchester United can get the job done in this one. It was a bit of a difficult game. More against Derby when we dominated and we just couldn't find the breakthrough too, too late on. But hopefully it'll be a bit, hopefully it's going to be a bit easier than that. And will it be a bit quicker in this one. But they've got a few players, the likes of Shakiri on their day. Can cause Manchester United problems. Peter Crouch may well be up front. I don't know. He hasn't played a lot of football. Obviously, he's getting on now. He's getting towards his 40s. So, I think he's about 36, 37. So, but he's always liable to cause Manchester United problems. So, they have got problems for Manchester United to contend with. But I'm hopeful Manchester United can get over the line in this game. I'm going to say Manchester United win this game two goals to one. With their problems they've had, we know manager. I'm hopeful that Manchester United, we've won a, few game, a couple of games now in a row. So, Hopefully Manchester United can keep that run going and win this game and cement that place in that top four. Because we've got FA Cup coming back around, around the corner and next month it will be Champions League. Anyway, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.